uttered to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and the nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. He let them turn away every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will, will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works, and they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil, and he said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. That was the greatest revival in the history of mankind. 500,000 people got saved that day, yeah. uh, folks, and, and God gave them. They bought 150 years. So all those that were alive then were dead when God's judgment did come. Why? Because then they, after that they forgot. When those people died, the new younger people had forgotten their God. And that's what America's problem in America is today. Our young people don't, don't never knew America when she was good and clean. They, they've never known her in, her in her great days. And with that, I'm going to ask a blessing. We're going to take an offering and then we're going to have the Lord's table. And so, with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come before you, my prayer for everybody here tonight is that they really understand, they really understand, Father God, the, the times that we're living in and the necessity of the, the moment, the days that we're living in, that as we're all gathered here today, the Lord, that, that this is our time, it's right now, it's right now, that we don't have one single day to waste, that we need to be about doing your work, we need to be about placing up crowns in heaven, we need to be about preparing now, Lord, we know this, that, that you have expectations of us, Lord, and we have obligations to you. And the first thing you've told us is to be, that you want us to obey you. From Genesis to Revelation, in fact, Jesus says in Matthew 7, that many are called, but few come. But only those, only those that obey the word of God, that obey the word of God, will get to heaven. And Lord, we know that you told us to worship you with, with praise and worship, and to sing praises to you. And Lord, we know that you mean that. A lot of people think it's not dignified to sing, or they, they, won't, they just sit there and they don't even sing. Well, they should boldly sing, even if they sound like a frog. They, you told us to make a joyful noise. Don't have to be good. And Lord, let us realize this. And Father God, the next thing, Father God, we know that you told us to and tithes. You don't need our money. We know that you don't need our money. But Father God, we need to show you our faith. We need, like the widow with her two mice, to step out in faith. And we know, Father God, that it's, it's, not, it's not how much we give. It's not when we give out of our abundance, but when we give out of our need, Lord, that we're showing our faith. And then, Lord, more than anything else, it's our service. You demand, Lord, our service. That we to be doers of the word, not hearers only. Deceiving our own selves, as you've told us. If we're, if we're hearers only, we're deceiving our own selves. So let all of these things, Father God, that we hear, let us take them to heart and put them to practical application. Oh Lord, that you might be well pleased, Father. Because we know that you will always, 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 always honor commitment of your people. So as we take up this offering, let us not in any way disappoint you. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, if you guys don't put enough money in there, we're going to have to pass it two or three more <laughs> <laughs> Reasons. You know, in some of the the Black Baptist churches, you know how they take up an offering. They have a table set up, and they have the secretary standing at the end, the treasurer sitting in a chair, and then the people come out of the pews one by one. They come up, they put money in the plate, and then the uh, the secretary reads, "Mrs. Smith just gave three hundred dollars. Mr. Jones just gave." Okay. What? That's what they do. Yeah. Wow. And it's, it is not 
It is not scriptural, folks. Believe me. Okay. I've seen it. And you see, when Mrs. Smith gives Jones gives her three hundred dollars every week, <coughs> guess what? She gets a, a place up in the front pew. <laughs> Surgeon? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've uh, seen that's it. the way they work. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, we have we have things to be. One of the blessings we have is that we haven't been caught up in that stuff. Now, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. knowledge. And when they come preaching another gospel, Amen. and that's what's happening today. We got those who are going to take the Lord's table and uh, remember to take the top off. Boy, couldn't figure out why he never got away. <laughs> well, Roy said he got the juice, but he never got a He said all the time, he never got a wafer. Got a wafer. <laughs> all right. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Remember, there's three things that you want to remember. First of all, before you take the Lord's table, you must be saved. Number two, you must have been baptized by immersion. And number three, you must not have any unconfessed sin. Very important. God, this is, it, it, it applies today as much as it ever has. So, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. given thanks. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come before you, Lord, we just want to thank you so very much for the greatest gift that anyone could ever receive. Lord Jesus, you died a substitutionary death for us. You hung in our place. You took our sin upon you. You didn't have to do that. You did that while we were yet sinners. And Lord, so as we gather here tonight, we thank you for the greatest gift that anyone could ever receive. Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and of the blood of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm going to have to shoot out of here like we always do because we have to drop coupon off. Either that or I have to leave him here. <laughs> Somebody else will have to take him home. Somebody's going to have to feed him until we come back. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he ragging on you, Coop? Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's going to rag on somebody. <laughs> Makes him feel better. Oh. Man, Coop. I'm going to see if I can find that, that paper I was telling you about, about the FEMA passage for it. Go with it real fast.